Hello and welcome to We Do Disney. I'm Emmy. And I'm Doug. And today we're going to talk about five different ATMs that you can find all around Walt Disney World. This is a fun one. Hit it! Number five. This one's going to be obvious and not super exciting, but this is your regular, everyday cash ATMs. Now there are a few important things to be able to kind of touch on. First, they're located everywhere. If you're at any of the resorts, any of the parks, or Disney Springs, these are all over the place. You can always ask your nearest cast member to point you in the right direction. Also, if you're searching for an ATM and you just, you either don't want to ask anybody because you're stubborn like me, or because you don't see anyone in sight that you think will know where one is, what you can do is get out your smartphone, go to the My Disney Experience app, and through the app, you can go to the Guest Services tab, and then go to the ATM section and there will be this giant map of all the ATMs located near you and on Walt Disney property. So you zoom in to where you are and you find your nearest ATM. It can even give you walking directions. The app has kind of gone crazy over the last year. So that is the most important information on ATMs. Don't forget to tip your housekeeping and your room service and cash tips aren't a bad idea when you're at restaurants or something like that either. Okay, next. Our number four ATM that you might wanna check out if you have a furry little fuzzy buddy at home is the dog tag machine located on the trains or in the train station at Magic Kingdom. We were just up there one day, we were gonna take the train around the park and I noticed this little machine there where you can create dog tags or cat tags or what, or uh, even little military tags. Or a like. hedgehog tag. Yeah, whatever animal that you want to tag with a name or whatever, they have this machine there. So you can type in their name and give them a little address or make something really fun and some of them are Mickey shaped. Kind of fun. Minnie, come here. Minnie. Hi. Come oh, on. Come on. Good girl. Oh. Can you turn around? Can you say hello? Aww. Thank you. Well, well, it's now, Minnie very much loves the shiny things in the, <laughs> in the house. Our phone lights, uh, light from the sun if it catches something shiny and makes a little reflection. Her dog tags sometimes will also catch the light and make something shiny on the floor, like a little reflection. She will try to eat it. Whatever so, it is. So we actually, when she's in the house, we don't have her little collar on, but whenever we go outside, we put it on, obviously. But yep. She's naked inside. She's naked inside. You're naked! Dog. dog. Important to me. This is a dog. Our number three. We consulted Minnie on this. Our number three ATM type machine, or fun machine, that you can find around the parks are the penny press machines. These are small, collectible, easy souvenirs that are located all over all the Disney parks. What you do is you find one of these machines. I believe it's usually 50 cents. So you put 50 cents and a penny into the machine. So 51 cents. Yeah, but you get the penny back. So what you do is you put the 50 cents and the penny into the machine. And then there's usually some kind of crank. Sometimes it's automatic. You get to pick which style of penny you want to press. And then you crank the thing. And what happens is it pops out the other side with a pressed penny with whatever design that you chose to put on it. They're, the thing I like about these is they are collectible. There are tons of them. Each of these machines has three or four different styles, and there are tons of machines. Two, they are lightweight. Three, you can have new pennies that show up every single time that you come to the parks, and they're really inexpensive. They cost you 50 cents. It's a great way to have a fun souvenir from the parks, especially if you're on a budget. 
And that's why he was number three on our cool ATM machine type things at Disney. Number two. This ATM is a must have for Walt Disney World vacationing. This is the fuel rod ATMs that you can find all over Walt Disney World. And the fuel rod is something that you can purchase. It's a $30 purchase. It comes with a rechargeable battery, a little cord, and different connection pieces so that it can fit your uh, smartphone. I think it comes with a micro USB and a lightning adapter. It sounds good. So the cool part about this is that it, once you buy a fuel rod, it'll come out a dispenser and you can use it up so you charge your phone or other electronic devices, whatever you need to charge. And then when it runs out, you just find another ATM for fuel rod, pop it back in and you'll get a new one for free every single time. So the upfront cost is $30, but it's unlimited swaps for a new battery each time. This saves so much hassle running around with your little power cord all over Disney trying to find an actual charging station, which they do have those as well, but you can't exactly be on the go when it comes to these charging stations. But with Fuel Rod, you can put it in your pocketbook, in your backpack, and it'll charge as you continue on your Walt Disney World vacation. Must have, in my opinion. Yep, with the increased use of the My Disney Experience app, uh, making dining reservations, fast passes, you name it, it's something that really put a drain on our batteries on our phones, and these fuel rods have totally saved the day. Our number one favorite ATM style machine at Walt Disney World is the Cupcake ATM at Sprinkles. Now, we were debating, the real functionality wise, the fuel rod stations are, are just the best. But how fun is a cupcake ATM? Like, it's a machine that you buy cupcakes from and it pops out like a little ATM machine. It's so cool. So this is located at Sprinkles, which is at the marketplace area of Disney Springs. If you're close to the Lime Garage and you're headed towards Morimoto Asia or Raglan Road, it's gonna be right before the bridge that takes you over to that area. These cupcakes, first of all, are delicious. If you have a sweet tooth, this is your place. Inside, they also have like ice cream and all, they do all sorts of wacky things with their cupcakes. Um, but outside, just to the right of the main entrance, there's a little pink ATM where you can pick out your favorite cupcake and you put in your money and then it pops out that cupcake and it's just like magic. Now, Emily has told me there's probably someone that helps out with this process. I am in complete disbelief and I'm assuming it's the machine that does all the work. Sometimes the machine needs a rest, so it's not always up and running, but when it is, it's there it's to give you your cupcakes. It's just cool. It's really cool. So, and what Doug means by the marketplace is you head down the stairs to Lime Garage and you're kind of in marketplace area, but you're gonna go straight through town center, like you're heading over to the landing. There's a little bridge that connects. Oh, I guess it is town center. Yeah, so you're gonna go in between where Frontera Cocina will be on your left and Sprinkles will be on the right. And that was our number one ATM style machine at Walt Disney World. And this was fun. I like this episode. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. This is, we're both subscribing now. <laughs> In reality, this was a super fun video to make. If you liked it, don't forget to check out our Quick Tip Tuesdays. Those are a little bite-sized version of our videos that we're actually looking for your help in sending in quick tips to be able to enhance everybody's Disney experience. There will be a link below where it says Submit to Quick Tip Tuesday and it'll bring you to a little form on our website. Thanks again for watching and have a wonderful rest of your week. Bye. Bye, guys. Over Walt Disney World are the. That sounds weird. Afternoon coffee. Oh, Minnie, I know. Let it go. Let it go.
I get it. 